Pak satu kenyataan satu projek yang dijalankan bersama antara kerajaan negeri dan pihak swasta yang dilancarkan oleh Penang Science Cluster saya ucapkan terima kasih kepada teman-teman Profesor Pilih Pertami hadir kepada EFDP Dr. Putaya yang berumat yang suruh ada kawasan pelakus juga daripada PSC ialah Dr. Musim Hai juga Dr. Pilih Lim Dato' Sofi Ah, Dato' Sofi, right And Dato' Yum also Of course All the other key people LH, Ang, Sofi So, I'll just have a press release here And I do not intend to read out the press release Except to say that This is one of our efforts To promote science And technology And to establish Penang as a center of excellence for science and technology. Uh, and because this is uh, done in uh, Komta, our dome, uh, we also ask uh, YDP to assist in terms of all the relevant of the books. Uh, so before uh, I continue, uh, I want to say that this project, the Tech Dome Penang project, the estimated cost is around uh, 23 to 24 million of which I think uh, last proportion uh, nearly uh, two-thirds will come from the private sector and uh, uh, we hope that uh, this will help to establish Penang as a center of excellence for science and technology before that uh, for Penang we have undertaken various projects uh, towards uh, rekindling interest in science and technology. First, we have this Penang Science Cafe. This is initiative of Zato Yung huh? and uh, Penang Science uh, Cluster. And next, we have this uh, Penang Learning Centers where we offer STEM teaching also by uh, the Penang State Government. And we hope that we can lay the, the foundation uh, for the first German vocational education in Malaysia and uh, the building of the uh, learning centers the first one was in Kamu Wapala the second one will be built in Bukit Mutajam where we offer STEM teaching science, technology, engineering and mathematics and today uh, we have the first and of course, apart from that, we hope to also do German vocational education, also the first in the country. <coughs> and today, we are taking it one step further <coughs> by announcing the Tech Dome Penang project. And as I said, this uh, will be costing around 23, what, what is it? 23, 23, 23, 24 is correct. <laughs> so now 23, 24, uh, we go there, that one will be assessed because we talk about these exhibits and these scientific materials. I think the, the cost may vary. Some of them may go up, some of them may go down. Hopefully it goes down. Uh. When the price of petrol goes down, uh, hopefully it also goes down. So, uh, and because this is done in a geodesic dome, I think it has finally found its home. The geodesic dome is something that is uh, a symbol of advanced science. So we hope that this will help to spur uh, the knowledge and interest of science one step forward and establish Penang as a center of excellence for science and technology. Critical for Penang. Uh, without science and technology, I do not think we can move forward. And we are very concerned by our PISA ranking program for international students' assessment where our 15-year-olds are not only three years behind the top nations like Singapore, South Korea, Taiwan, Hong Kong, but I think more of greater concern, more worryingly, is that we are also behind, even behind countries like Thailand and Vietnam. And that's why uh, we need to play cash up. Uh. We need to play cash up to ensure that uh, our students are not left further behind. And, uh, this is an effort and initiative by the Penang State Government towards, uh, as I said, uh, improving 
not only our standards but also establishing Penang as a center of excellence for science and technology in Malaysia. Any questions? So this will be the first, I think the first in Malaysia, isn't it? Uh, yes. This will be the first in Malaysia, uh, a tech group of first in Malaysia. Yes, I really hope to do a first in Malaysia if we can bring in German vocational education in Penang. Purpose for, and then mainly for sports. The dome will be from level 4 escalator going up. You're going to build a digital planetarium. Uh, we'll be at the squash court apex. Then we go up the stairs. Now this is the planetarium. This, this is existing dome. What we intend to do is actually to put a mezzanine floor to increase the excavation area. And then this is a planetarium at the existing squash court area. This is a mezzanine floor that I have spoken just now. So together we can get about 20,000 square feet of exhibition in there. So this is the additional floor that we're getting. And this is the planetarium inside the existing squash court.